Today I have a very important person in my life, but also in my career, is my dear friend David Axel. Hi David, Hi, Hi, Mel. how are you? I'm good. I guess that people who have seen my work, they have seen my work with you through the years. But tell us a little bit more about you. So, I'm originally from Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, started modeling in the late 90s over there. And uh, I've been in New York for about 16 years now. And I met Belle right in the beginning of my modeling career here in New York. I think he was one of the first photographers I ever met in New York. I think it might have been 08, 2008 or something. I remember, I remember when I met you. Because yeah. I had to go to the store and then you were on this, like outside. Then we started to talk and then we kind of connected. And how many shoots have you done? Oof, I don't know, probably... Through the I don't year, know, 30 right? maybe. I think that was the first thing that we did, the clips. Yeah, that was a video we shot. That was a yeah, video. Yeah. That was our first video. I think our main project was the Big Apple. And that was the first photo shoot we did together. That right? was our first photo yeah. shoot. Yeah. I have the Polaroids previous to to that photo shoot. It was kind of an Arciso story. Yeah. And then we came back with this idea of the Big Apple. Exactly. We didn't have too much film, so we had to nail every shot in just a few shots. And it was also uh, dark, so it was a slow shutter. I remember the shot of the park, it was four seconds. Yeah, exactly. You know, New yeah. York is a big apple, and the story was about this character who shows up in New York. It's more like a hustler. It was a metaphor for all of us, you know, who came to the city. They would use the word hustle, you know, I'm right. going to have to hustle to I do mean, it. we're all hustlers. <laughs> we are, I feel like that. You are very young and then you have all the energy. It's like, oh, it's great. And then as time passes, you feel like, wow, when does it end? What was your favorite shot? I do like the Apple uh, shot because I remember we only had three uh, snaps left of the film or something. That was right by your apartment. We started off in Times Square and then we worked our we way were going down. down. Because right now that we do digital, it's completely different. But back then, it was, you do the Polaroid just to see the light. Yeah. You cannot even check focus. Yeah. But then I remember the first shot in Times Square, you were across and I saw the Polaroid and I was like, wow, this is yeah. a new era for me because it was the beginning for me to shoot cinematic you completely changed my direction yeah and now we're here my favorite shot i think it was with the neon light yeah it was not winter it was cold it was cold yeah but you were wearing only t-shirt and you took all the clothes in your bag it was the beginning of social media but internet yeah and they would run the story it went like to five magazines, yeah. two museums, one, it got me a gallery. Yeah. So we did, we did all, a couple of films yeah. based on one of the shots that you are on the car sleeping. Yeah. We did that story, The Sunset, mm -hmm. where you go to the beach. But we did that two years later. It's a completely different story, but it started with that shot. But your head was shaved, shaved yeah. like you changed looks so many times so right. like through the year. <laughs> it was kind of sad, but it was very poetic. And we did the other part of it when Revenge, it was shot later on. Yeah. I think the reference also was the picture of you in front of the mirror. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly, in the bathroom. Originally in the bathroom, in the shot of the of Big Apple, you were like almost like showing off your body. But that picture became revenge, and in revenge you actually have blood. You did such an amazing change of character in one minute, right? Mm -hmm. In one minute you were like super violent, and then by the end of one minute you were completely devastated. Yeah, that, crying, breaking down. Breaking down yeah, with, yeah, with yeah. the... Um, what do you prefer like when you are shooting? Do you prefer to do stills? Do you prefer motion? First of all, I, I like to work with um, people that inspire me that I have a good energy with. Motion is always fun to get to act a little bit and play a character. But uh, even with photo shoots, you get to do that. Uh, you do that a lot, yeah. right? You, you I, get I, in, I like to get into a character. You get into uh, characters. Yeah. Do you remember that we did that 70s guy? And then we did also the ballet dancer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 People don't know that so you also are a very stylish person. What is your take on the styling? Same thing there to, to be creative and uh, be part of the process with someone and collaborate. Uh, I like that a lot. Like concepts when you have to 
create something a little fun and uh, more creative that is maybe not so typical. The working out boy. Oh yeah. Yeah. That, that was fun too, to be able to uh, both do the styling and also help with the movement directing as well. For the details, the skateboard part. Do you mm, remember? Yeah, that one was fun and that was great. Remember we just get, uh, got kicked out right when we were finished? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The timing was so perfect. It cannot be forced, right? No, exactly. Like, like uh, if it's a natural connection, uh, we're always having a good time, and then we always end up with some good end results. By far, the photographer I've shot with the most as well. We've just been friends for so long now. Yeah, you know, it's uh, close to twenty years probably. How is your relationship with York? It's uh, a long love relationship, it, roller coaster, like most uh, loving uh, relationships right? with passions are. Higher highs, lower lows. A fun struggle, sort yeah. of, you know? That's why for me, Big Apple was super special. It was kind of an homage what it meant to be here. It brings me back, like watching those pictures. I, I remember exactly how I felt back then because me, it's like such strong memories. To collaborate with somebody on the same level yeah. and doing it just for the love. When you look back at modeling and whatever are the most fun projects where you connect with a person, usually those are more special to me than like big jobs or whatever. Because sometimes you have like the super big label jobs yeah. with a lot of people around and everything. I mean, it's an experience, yeah. but when we did Big Apple, we didn't even plan to publish it. We just did yeah, it for exactly, us, exactly. right? And then when I saw it, I mean, I loved it, but I didn't expect people to be like, so like, wow. And then, you know, digital arrived. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, of course, it changed the industry completely on so many different ways. Yeah. Uh, there are things that I preferred before that I, I thought it was a little more, more thoughtful, planned out concepts because you were more limited with film and uh, everything back then was precise a right uh, yeah exactly but there's also something nice about the spontaneously just uh, grabbing uh, a digital camera and if digital didn't arrive i would have done motion i didn't like the quality and the look of right. in photography but you had the low cost of creating motion too but i think it was good to start with film because you have to know everything. Yeah, the old school photographers know the craft. Like it took like two years to get a look on film. Exactly. And now in Photoshop you do it, yeah. you know, you know right. like in five seconds. Now you can just be a creative person and create something without really knowing the craft and still getting yeah. a good end results. But it's a different approach to things. Yeah, it's great that it's more accessible, more people are creating. Mm -hmm. But with that, I think it's also harder to find the good ones because there's so many uh, people doing it. Yeah. Thank you, David. Thank you, thank you, Bill. I mean, oh my I, God, they I want that. Say, uh, well, one thing, I, I really appreciate you and our uh, relationship because yeah. it's like, it's so... Um, you are my original muse. It's only, <laughs> exactly. I mean, and it's the same goes the other way around too. You, you, you're one of uh, my dear friends and uh, professionals in this industry that I really love and appreciate having in my life and I'm um, working continuously with yeah. and will probably do until yeah, and we never get tired right races. looking forward to many many more, more decades <laughs> <laughs> exactly we so, promise that we yeah, promise yeah, that yeah, we're yeah, gonna yeah, show yeah, until yeah, exactly. one hits and, out right and at this point uh, I believe it you know? yeah I mean too <laughs> so, me yeah. too